Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome in if you're new. I am Chani and today we're watching Kyrgyzak Black Hole's Evil Twin, Gravastars Explained. I personally have never heard of a Grava Gravastar. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, it's the first time I'm hearing it. So this will be interesting to watch, so let's just go into it. What's this? Your reminder to get the perfect gift this holiday season. So true, happy holidays. <laughs> I know it's like December there might fourth, be an object but... so indestructible, extreme, and brutal that it could kill black holes. Gravastars, cosmic soap bubbles filled with pure energy and with a shell made of the weirdest material that's possible in nature. What are they? What do they look like? And are they just a theoretical fever dream, or will they change our understanding of the universe forever? Let's the find out. Of the most extreme objects in the universe. The birth Very of massive them. stars die in the most dramatic way possible, a supernova. So, We've so, so, this supernova, in sorry. Detail before, <laughs> but in a nutshell, in less than a second, their cores collapse, crushed under their extreme gravity. The star's shell rushes in, bounces against the collapsing core, and explodes, <gasps> Shiny. Whoa. brighter than whole galaxies. Very bright. Depending on how massive the star was, there are two possible outcomes. Either the core compresses into a super dense neutron star, or it kind of breaks reality and collapses into a singularity, an mm. infinitely dense point with no size or dimensions at all. A place where the laws of the universe stop making sense and time and space are reversed. A black hole. Gravastars are a third, even weirder option. Instead of collapsing, weirder into or worse, weird can be good. It's kind of ground down. Worse, like I worse cannot be good. Cosmic hydraulic press. Atoms and particles are crushed so hard that they transform into pure energy, a sort of mini universe, if you want. And mm -hmm. just like our universe, this bubble violently wants to expand and grow. In a fraction of a second, the bubble smashes into the collapsing star around it. The unspeakable mass of the star collapsing under its own gravity meets the titanic violence of the expanding energy bubble. Like an ancient god hammering on its anvil, matter is trapped between an immovable object and an unstoppable force, forging a new kind of material that we've never seen before, but that we know is physically possible. And then it suddenly stops. A gravistar is born. What does it look like? Cosmic soap bubbles. Just like so black holes, bubbles? a gravistar can have any mass, but a typical one would be about the size of the London metropolitan area and as massive as 10 suns. The shell of the gravistar is utterly dark and the coldest thing in the universe, only a billionth of a degree above oh absolute zero. Oh my god. If we look at it in deep infrared, even the cosmic microwave background glows bright in comparison. How can anything made of matter be that cold? Don't all atoms jiggle back and forth? Maybe this is a silly question, but what's the temperature in black holes? Is there a temperature in black holes? Because this one he's saying is cold. Then what does that make black holes? Are they cold or warm? Do let me know in the comments. Thank you. The thing is, the shell's not made out of atoms. It's made it's not? entirely new, unique, and extreme matter that doesn't have a name yet, and that's at the very limit of what's physically possible in nature. Actually, then what is it made out of? so incredibly thin that atoms seem truly gigantic next to it. And yet, despite oh. being ultra-thin, because it's been forged by two impossibly extreme forces, the shell is incredibly tight. So mm. tight that if you is it because like there's like I guess pressure from both sides at least according to this animation it looks like there's pressure coming from within but also the forces outside that's what's making it tight or am I misunderstanding here sorry I'm like really confused this is this is very confusing if you wanted to stretch the whole shell by just one meter you'd need the energy of an entire supernova what about the inside well it only gets weirder the interior uh -oh. of the star is perfectly simple because it's sort of empty oh completely empty perfect... wait so it doesn't suck things into it like how black hole does just empty like nothing goes in it vacuum without a single atom particle or wave but this total nothingness like the absolute nothing there's absolute zero and then gravastars have absolute nothing 
Interesting. Despite being as empty as it gets, this vacuum is boiling with the most primitive and fundamental kind of energy in the universe. Oh. We need a detour to explain how any of this makes sense. Yes, please. The explain more. The <laughs> nothingness at the core of it all. Okay. The inside of a gravity star nothing. breaks our brains a bit because it's a sort of super condensed nothingness. What does this even mean? We'll have to simplify and use metaphors to make sense of what yes, scientists measure and calculate. According to our current understanding of physics, particles like quarks, electrons, photons, and so on are not really solid objects, but sort of waves in an ocean. In our mm -hmm. human world, you can't have waves without water. And in the True. smallest world, you also can't have particle waves without some kind of underlying omnipresent cosmic fluid. This fluid is the vacuum. What we perceive is fluid there's nothingness it's the fundamental ocean at the bottom of reality the waves of this vacuum ocean are the particles that make up you and everything else but even when there are no waves or particles traveling through it the fluid is still there and like any fluid we know it has inherent energy vacuum fluid is everywhere in the universe Mm -hmm. The room you're in is 99.98% vacuum between the air particles bouncing around. Between the trillions of particles making up your cells, there's vacuum. But it's different inside a gravistar. When our star collapsed and condensed so violently, it was as if the universe took a cosmic pump and compressed as much vacuum fluid as physics allows into mm -hmm. a kind of super dense nothingness. As said before, even without any waves, the nothingness vacuum ocean of the universe has energy. But the super dense vacuum inside a gravistar has almost a billion, trillion, trillion, trillion times more energy per cubic centimeter than the vacuum outside the star. This oh. is an unbelievable amount of energy and mass in a tiny space, just like you may have guessed it, black holes. Mm. This intensely compressed vacuum ocean can't be compressed any further. It's at the absolute physical limit of anything that could be squeezed together without breaking physics, like black holes do. The ocean would love to stop being so tight. It wants to stretch out and flow back into the ocean that surrounds the star, but it's trapped in the safest prison possible. The shell, which itself is right at the edge of the physical limit of any material possible, an eternal stalemate between two limits of the universe. Let's leave this world of metaphors and get back to our world that feels more real. Actually, in put it world, a little bit into perspective, buddy. Black, eternal objects with borderline insane amounts of mass. Because they're so cold, dark, and massive, from the outside, gravistars look and behave exactly like black holes. Both massively curve space around them and create all the fun effects we love black holes for, from trapping mass and light in accretion disks or slowing down time as you get closer. For hmm. details, we've made one or two videos on black holes. We have seen. We've seen New Kit, I believe. I don't think I've seen the other ones, but I think I should probably. I feel like I'm going down a black hole rabbit hole. But I mean, I'm not mad about it. I do I do enjoy learning about space. And like I said, now Gravastars, stars. I've never heard of them before. So this is very new to me. A lot of knowledge, a lot of knowledge. We like it. Coals before. If you fell into a gravistar, you'd be extremely dead before you even hit the surface, ripped oh. apart and ground down by the gravitational forces. Oh. And once your scattered remains touch the shell, the atoms you were once made of would probably break down and dissolve into completely, nothingness, yeah. only to be converted into the vacuum energy of the interior, making the gravistar an infinitesimal bit bigger and an infinitesimal bit more massive. Okay, this was fun and all, but what exactly is the point? Isn't this just another video of wild scientific speculation just for the sake of it? The point. Black holes were suggested more than a century ago By as an Carl. abstract solution to equations okay. of gravity. For more than 50 years, they were considered mathematically valid, but too absurd to be real. Few believed they actually existed. But scientists kept working on paper and looking at weird things. And then we saw stars being thrown around by invisible titans. We saw hmm. light stretching around invisible gaps in the sky. And as our technology and theories improved, we even sort of took a picture of them. We have evidence. Right. There was a picture released by NASA, I believe. Who else would it be if it's not NASA? But yeah, a picture release of a black star. Or not a black star. Black star? Was it a black star or was it a black hole? 
Are black stars and black holes the same thing? I don't know now. Um, yeah, anyways, well, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. For them, and they fit our theories. And nowadays, it's kind of common sense to accept them as real. Black holes are extremely elegant and fascinating, but they also created a lot of questions that have traumatized physicists for decades. Uh -oh. Singularities literally break our best understanding of physics. They seem to delete information, which shouldn't be possible. Gravistar uh, the singularity is in infinitely dense and contains no information about the matter that formed the black hole. Oh. Stars are a relatively new idea without any of those problems. They don't need singularities that break physics or delete information. They solve the puzzles of black holes, but they too create new problems, like weird exotic matter for their incredibly cold and tight shell. Galactic super slubber. dense, nothing to make a super massive empty core. But just like black holes, they do work on paper and fit what we see in the sky. So are they real? And will we ever know? Actually, there is a way to find out. Oh. Black holes have an event horizon, while gravistars have a physical shell made of matter, which mm. means that they behave very differently when they smash into each other. The collision of two objects as massive as they are creates huge amounts of gravitational waves, ripples in space That's time scary. that travel at the speed of light. You can think of them as the music of cosmic cataclysms. The collision of two black holes should sound like a bass drum, a deep thumb that stops quickly. But two gravistars colliding should sound like a gong, leaving subtle echoes behind. Scientists yeah, because both have like, you know, solid external like shell in comparison to the black holes that have pretty much nothing. ...are listening for these echoes in the music of the cosmos. Unfortunately, black holes and gravistars are surrounded by such strong gravity that it swamps most of the music. It's like trying to tell two instruments apart through a thick wall of concrete. Mm. You need very sharp technology for that. While we've made Do incredible we have progress in the last few years, we're not quite there yet. Okay. So this is where <laughs> we'll there end yet. Soon. the story. Soon. Gravistars have the potential Maybe. to answer some of the biggest problems in physics. Or they're just another idea for our discard pile. But this is why we do science. To learn that everything is different to the way we thought it is. Until the day we truly understand the nature of reality. That's a really cute cup. Discovery is an ongoing oh. process. I think that's... is the entire ending advertisement. I believe so. That was a really good video. Gravastars. Like I said, never heard of them before. Was really knowledge filled. You see the difference between them. The evil twin comment. Are they the evil twin though? If they will give us actual answers that will explain black holes better. Would that still make them evil? I feel like they're kind of helping us learn about black holes. But their existence seems still un clear at least not that we've witnessed or seen but it's just more like a thought for lack of better words but yeah that was a really good video shout out kurgisak and i hope you like this video do let me know in the comments if you believe that gravel stars are the evil twin of black holes or no if you like this video make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye